Welcome to Read the Manual. My name is Kevin, if you're new to the show here, and today we're looking at a reverb pedal, specifically one that's been uh, pretty pretty highly uh, talked about, and it deserves that. We're talking Walrus Audio Slow. This is a great pedal, a multi-textured reverb pedal. Uh, it does quite a lot. Um, and it's pretty simple too. So let's go ahead and look at it. Let's dig in. Let's figure out what what's going on. So, yeah. Shall we? All right. Here we are. We have the Walrus Audio Slow. Let's go over what we have here, what we're looking at. So we have an X knob, then we have a decay knob, filter knob, mix knob, and a depth knob. And then in the middle, we have a, a nice little switch here. And that does two things. So the primary function is the words you see on the uh, left side here. And that switches the mode of the slow. So we have dark, which does an octave below uh, whatever instrument puts out uh, into the reverb. Then you have the rise. The rise does um, a swell. Um, and then the dream mode does some modulation um, and some, some texture into your reverb, as well as it has a latching function. Um, the latching function is accessed by this sustain foot switch, uh, which will create a pad underneath of uh, what you're playing, and that will continue to kind of evolve and, and shift and shape as your plane. Then uh, the sustain foot switch also, uh, while we're on that, uh, ramps up the mix knob when you're in either the rise or the dark mode, which is pretty cool. Uh, so it can basically take you from whatever point you're at and just fully throw it to 100% um, when you press and hold on it. Then on the right side here, you have the different type of modulation. Uh, the depth knob here tells you how deep that modulation is going to go. The three options here uh, on the right of the toggle are telling you what type of modulation. Um, and just to make sure I get this right, I'm going to read that direct from the manual because I tend to, tend to forget what it is. Okay, so if you have it set to sign, then it's going to be smooth and even pitch up and down modulation. Warp is going to give you asymmetric pitch up modulation, similar to a warped record. And then sync is going to give you asymmetric pitch down modulation for syncing detune, similar to a Bigsby. And uh, we will go through all three of those so you can hear what they sound like. We have a uh, normal bypass switch. That's pretty straightforward. We can turn on and off trails, um, and then you can also set the speed of the depth and modulation, which is pretty cool. There's a little hidden function for that. So let's uh, let's start hearing stuff. First, let me uh, play you my clean tone. We got the uh, Fender Telecaster going through the TC Electronic Hyper Gravity Mini Compressor, and this is what it sounds like. <laughs> you go. Let's start on uh, the dark mode. That's pretty straightforward. Um, also, if you can see this little white line here, that's the uh, marker for 50% uh, of the mix. So that's that's how you know you're at 50-50. Um, it's not straight at noon, as you would think, um, but that's okay because we got a lovely little indicator here. So let me let me just go over a couple things. So uh, X is the feature here. It, it's it controls the mode you're in. So uh, in dark, it's gonna tell us how much of the negative one octave uh, we hear. So with it fully counterclockwise, we're gonna hear nothing. Uh, it's just gonna be a standard reverb sound. 
As soon as we start to crank it, then we'll hear more. With rise, it's the speed of the swell. And with dream, it's how much of the modulation um, is introduced into the mix. Decay is just the decay of uh, the reverb in general. Filter, as we move it counterclockwise, uh, it'll cut the high. And as we move it clockwise, it'll cut the lows. And then depth, we already went over. That's just the, the uh, modulation, how, how deep it goes. So now let's, uh, let's give this guy a listen. <laughs> some nice warmth uh let's go ahead and turn up the mix real quick and then um and then you'll hear some more and then we'll we'll move on Um, let me set this back to 50 and then let's go, um, let's do the same thing again. This time let's go for rise. <laughs> get this thing really this is the best way to hear the uh, swelling and that's to do it all the way up all right so let's do that There definitely is um, some practice needed when playing this because it's really easy to to rush it and then it will sound really weird. Um, and I will give a demonstration of that, all right, because it is a bit strange to experience. But if you slow down, then you'll be okay, I promise. But here's what it sounds like if you start to rush the rise too much. playing but 
you should get the point. It starts to kind of pull away from that swell and starts to do this weird kind of uh, like just so much reverb and it becomes almost too echoey, um, which makes sense. But like it's not meant to play that way. It's meant to slowly fade into um, a note or a chord or something. So, all right, let's move on to dream. I'm going to bring this back to 50% and I'm going to take this down. I'm going to increase our decay a little bit just so you can get make sure you're getting a really good grasp of what's happening here again great sounding reverb all right so now let's bring this guy up I'm just going to, I'm going to do it all the way. Yeah. All the way to three o'clock. Let's hear it. crazy um yeah i like this a lot because it adds some some movement into into your playing which is nice um so let's go ahead and introduce the latching here because it's best used in the dream mode so we will hit sustain it latches on and then you'll hear what happens as i start playing it'll create a pad underneath of uh whatever I'm playing. Yeah, you'll hear. Here we go. Just hit the sustain knob. Foot switch. Sorry. But yeah, that's it. Um, all right. Now let's let's do this. Let's go into the rise mode. We're gonna go full on swells. Um, we got a nice long decay. We're gonna not do any kind of filtering though. And what I want to do is let you hear the modulation that happens. So let's take our depth just straight to noon for now. I don't know what it's set at. So we're going to go ahead and take it to the sign mode first. The way you do that is you press and hold the bypass switch and then you move it. Uh, so let's do that and let's make sure that we are in the sign mode and then we'll work our way through all three. All right, so we should be doing uh, sign shaped modulation. Uh, and you should be hearing it a decent amount. And this is all the pedal. I'm not going to do anything myself, add in anything. It's just the slow.
can get pretty dramatic. Um, let's let's now adjust the speed of the modulation. Same thing. We're gonna press and hold bypass, but then we're gonna adjust the uh, the depth knob here. And uh, by default, uh, it's set to the speed being about here, I believe. Um, and then we're gonna we're gonna crank it. We're gonna make it we're gonna make it go nuts. All right. So let's do that. And then I'll make sure and keep the depth back at about three o'clock here, just so you can really hear what's happening. So let's do this. Pretty nuts. Um, all right, let's. I'm gonna leave it like this, but I'm gonna switch it down to warp. Um, I'm gonna make sure that the uh, the speed of the modulation is at the same place after I switch it to the uh, warp style of modulation. All right, so let me switch it up, and we'll hear what that sounds like. And I'm just moving it again after I do that to make sure that the depth is there and that everything is set to where I want it to be. Um, because sometimes you gotta, when you're doing kind of digital controls, at least on the Chase Bliss type of pedals, you usually have to move the knob um, a couple times to get it to kind of wake up digitally um, of what's happening inside and the adjustments you're making. So I'm just trying to kind of use that same principle as a catch-all and to be safe to make sure it's doing what I want it to. So that's all. Let's hear this one. So that first one was very um, symmetrical and even. This one you can hear, it sounds like... Um, Either the beginning or the end, I can't quite tell which, is a little bit longer um, in the modulation, in the wave shape itself. And then let's try the same thing, but let's go with sync, which I'm assuming will be kind of the opposite feel. pretty crazy but you can make it pretty nice sounding um let me adjust to something that's probably a little bit more realistic not as dramatic um to just play us out here um as we finish That is the Walrus Audio Slow Multi-Texture Reverb, and this has been Read the Manual, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it uh, helped teach you a little bit about what this pedal can do. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.
Bye.